Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Alpha King from Three Floyds Brewing Company in Indiana, a pale ale. The alcohol level is, well, actually no one here knows. We here in Metairie, Louisiana on July 4th, 2015. It's 666. 666. You don't know that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's the ABV? Yeah. 6.66? Yeah. Oh, that is so cute. Now, Alpha King is a bold yet balanced American pale ale with a slight sweetness and aggressive citrus hoppiness. In other words, it's a whole lot like Sierra Nevada pale ale. All right. But it's got the devil. <laughs> anyway, you can't judge me. I don't have a drinking problem. Y'all got problems. I don't care if y'all call the cops. Anyway, I ain't worried about going to jail. All right, we drank a little bit. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, folks, all right, uh, all um, stunting aside, we're going to review this beer. Now, um, wow, seriously, though, I've never had this, and you brought this back from a road trip, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we flew, I flew it back. Oh, you flew it back? Excuse me, flying trip. Yeah, I flew like 30 beers back. I'll tell you what, though, this is a lot... It's a lot more orange than I would expect from a stereotypical pale ale, right. huh? It's not it's really, definitely not your stereotypical pale ale. It's not pale. Yeah. It's in the range, but it's, it's more like amber, range. huh? Yeah. Hey, why are you trying to get me to drink? Uh... All right, anyway. Okay, well, we split this bottle up, so we're not going to get a lot of head of foam, right? I mean, it's like... You're not going to achieve a head of foam with two ounces. Right. Unless you pour it in a clear th glass thimble. Um, you know, there's a lot of controversy, I think, in the whole craft beer movement. The craft beer movement with um, pale ales versus India pale ales. You know how that goes. A lot of pale ales probably really are India pale ales, right? Like. Gales from Oscar Blues. I mean, if you drank a Dale's Pale Ale, it's kind of like an Indian Pale Ale, right? You know what I mean? You agree with that? Yeah, it, I think it's got a little, you've got more malt in there than I think I do. I yeah. mean, in 1997, Dale's Pale Ale would have been a. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I'm like Hillary Clinton, I evolved in my perceptions of reality. But, uh, Um, but, you know, I'm just kidding, but, um, kidding about the beer, but, um, well, to say the least, I've never had this beer, and, um, it's not available in Louisiana, to my knowledge, mm -hmm. no, um, he says it's about, probably never will be, round off to 7% ABV, yeah, it's pretty high for a pale ale, really, yep. um, well, I think they even had some, like, 8 and a 9, the so-called, you know, yeah, they just call a lot of things but I gotta admit, it's not that hoppy. So um, if hops is your sort of like measure measuring tool, it would not qualify for IPA. It is ale-like. It's soft in the body. It's fruity. It's a little bit caramel, a little bit toffee, a little bit. Um, Now, ales have sort of that fruitiness, like, but it can be like varying levels of like fruit cake, fruit. You know that dried fruit they put in fruit cake. Yeah, yeah. it's like ester, fruit esters kind of like. Yeah, yeast. yeah, and, and this this is like low to mid range. Yeah. Like think of like dates, figs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm reluctant to say it, even cherry, cherry skins, skins, like the tartness. Um, wow, this is really an interesting beer. I, mean, I think it's a great beer. I'd like to have 22 ounces, but... Uh, <laughs> I'd like to have a keg. <laughs> to me, the mouthfeel is like light to medium. It's pretty light in the mouth. 
It is. It's not a heavy <clears throat> beer. It's not, you know, it doesn't weight you down. Very it does beer. Oh, Hell yeah. Oh. It's really good. I mean, it's, I, I'm going to turn off the fan because of the uh, noise. So it's pretty hot and humid out here. There's no breeze. The air is still. Oh, hell no. The air is heavy. But the beer refreshes you. That's right. Yeah, you know, for refreshment, I would probably drink another uh, uh, Niccolo Ultra. But for flavor, you know, you want to go more into this area. Um, I'm going to say a word and tell me if you think I'm, in, I'm going mad. I'm thinking even apricot. You yeah. think I've lost yeah. my mind? No, no, no. Well, I got to tell you. It definitely has like a kind of stone fruit to it. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what, the bitterness is low. I don't know what the IBU is, but I can't imagine it being very high. And uh, for someone that's like new to the craft beer movement, whatever, and that depends on what definition you use. 68 that IBUs. Pretty low. I'd never, I'd never imagine 68. I'd never <laughs> imagine 68. Never. It's pretty high. It's pretty high, but I'd never dream it was that high. I, I would think. Well, but you, you ever notice that sometimes the number doesn't match the perception? What you know, I'd use that measurement. It's tough to get because depending on where the hops are added, you know, they're still, they're still adding IBUs, but. Perceptions, I think, the same, depending on what the boil is at. Yeah, this is like the ultra mellow beer, you know what I mean? It's like so copacetic. Um, there's fruit, but it's not strong. There's bread, it's not strong. Bread crust, but it's so mild. Um, there's alcohol, but it's not apparent. There's body, but it's light to medium. Um, the drinkability is superb. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't know a lot about Three Floors because, you know, they're not distributed down here and we don't get them, so I don't research it. Um, I wonder if Three Floors makes Imperial IPAs or, like, really high alcohol beers. Yeah, they, um, they make sours, they make all kinds of beers. So, uh, as far as dipping your toe in the pool, like in the little kitty part of the pool, this, this is really... It's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's uh, their flagship beer. Yeah, uh, you know, I was when you first started, I said, "Wow, it's like uh, Sierra Nevada beer." Well, but I think it's better than that. It's it's got, and not to disparage Sierra Nevada pale ale, I don't want people to take this the wrong way, but um, it probably costs a lot more than Sierra Nevada pale ale. Am I correct? What's that? Probably the, six the, the price six point. point. The price point is probably, remember, probably higher than Sierra yeah, Nevada Pale Ale. Yeah, I, I, I would definitely Yeah, so um, with a gourmet price point, which you're saying probably has, uh, I think it's really fantastic. So for somebody that's looking to drink a mild yet extremely flavorful pale ale, this is one to get. I mean, it's, uh, it's American all the way. Though. There's nothing British about this. So this is like 4th of July. This beer is like America, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I, I wouldn't feel give, I wouldn't feel comfortable giving it lower than an A. I mean, that would be the low. Like if you were lowballing it, you were saying, wow, well, it's got this little thing wrong with it. And you know, it could be hoppier. You know, yeah, but uh, you could make your own beer too, but yet you can't. So, um, this is a most excellent beer. I think it's minimum A, most excellent. You could probably argue higher. Uh, I think if I had more uh, ounces to drink, I would go higher. But if you ever see this, Alpha King from Three Floyds, absolutely buy it. <laughs> so, uh, well, it's been an adventure. So uh, another A beer, and um, that's it. It's 100% good and 0% bad. It's as simple as that. So lazy, lay, bon ton, lay. Wonderful beer. Take a last sip.
even has a little sugary touch. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans.